Peace and love, family. Peace and love. It's your boy Chris and Light and coming back to you with another banger. And today I'm talking about dream recall and tips on how to recall your dreams. First off, I want to let everyone know whether you remember your dream or not, you dream every night, family. I know some folks say, hey, I don't dream. You do dream. I'm going to give you some tips on how to recall all your dreams. First off, if you really want to recall your dreams and be lucid, try not to eat four to six hours before you go to bed. If you have a lot of food in you, your body's going to be heavy. You're not going to remember your dreams at all. You're going to dream, but you're not going to remember your dreams. Okay, family? You don't want to be too tired. So you want to get at least five to eight hours of sleep every night, family. It's good for your heart health, too. Secondly, no weed and no liquor before you go to bed. It'll dead you. You won't remember anything. Back when I used to party and kick it, I didn't remember none of my dreams. Okay, family? I don't do that anymore. So my I dream amazing. I'm going through portals. I'm visiting beans. I'm traversing the nebulas real talk family okay third if you want to really remember your dreams get a dream book so when you wake up in the morning the first thing you do to really remember your dreams as soon as you wake up keep your eyes closed lay there for about two minutes okay and recant your dream in your mind think about everything you just dreamed about get up and start writing it down after this becomes a habit while you're in your dream state, you'll remember, hey, I got to wake up and write down my dream. I have horrible penmanship. So those out there who write like a doctor, I speak my dreams. Because I would wake up and I was so tired, my penmanship is already horrible. And then I'm tired on top of that, I wasn't able to remember anything. So I started talking my dreams in my phone. I was able to get more out that way too. I was able to be more descriptive without worrying about my spelling the right words, without worrying about writing right. I started just talking my dreams in my phone. And I have a library of my dreams. And on the weekends, like early Saturday morning, what I do is go through all my dreams for the week. And what I've found out, what I've realized is my dreams mean a lot to me. I get a lot of downloads, I get a lot of visitors, and my dream Monday may link up with my dream Friday. My dream Friday may link up with a dream I've had two, three weeks ago. It's like putting the pieces of the puzzle of your reality together. Your subconscious mind soaks up everything. We have selective hearing so we don't go crazy, but every tone, every sound, every visual, your subconscious mind is feeding off of that family. So you gotta be really mindful of what you feed it. So if you want to dream good dreams, watch pleasant things. I was always dreaming about murdering and killing and zombie killing and all type of these battles. It was because I've had a warrior life in previous past lives, but I was always watching watch The Walking Dead, zombie movies, um, scary movies. Those things hit you on a subconscious level hard. And when you're in your dream state, you're 100% subconscious. Your subconscious, your conscious mind isn't in play at all. So you may have things that scare you to get your attention. Okay? Another, another jewel. If you're afraid of something and you realize or you become lucid and you're in your dream and something's chasing you, turn around and face it. Ask it what it wants. It's trying to get your attention. It's not trying to scare you per se because it's you. Turn around, ask it, what do you want? What are you trying to tell me? We have a lot more power than we believe we do. And the more you vibrate higher, the more you learn mantras, the more you pray, you're going to start glowing in your dreams. You're going to have a cert certain type of effervescence about yourself. Negative beings won't be able to attack you that much while you're in your dream state. Okay? So peace, love, and light, family. Hopefully you got some jewels from this one. I'm Chris Enlighten. I can be reached at theenlightenedjourney.com. Every Monday, me and my wife have a radio show, Twin Flame Radio. We're on 7 p.m. Eastern Time. You can call in and talk to the God Live, 619-924-0835. Family, this smoke is killing me. 
If you want to reach out to me directly, I can be reached at thechrisenlighten at gmail.com. I'm over here getting a buzz from all this sage, family. <laughs> so on that note, <laughs> peace, love, and light. I'm out. Have a great day, and I get at you. Peace. Hey.